Good afternoon, Jessica. This vigil is scheduled to start 4.30 here on the Cohasset Common. Now, it's being organized by three churches that actually surround this common, and it's being described as an interfaith vigil. Now, this vigil is surrounding the disappearance of 39-year-old Anna Wall. She has not been seen in town since New Year's Day. Her husband, Brian, remains held on high bail after being charged with misleading police in an investigation. Now, police continue looking for clues in Anna's disappearance, both on the north and south shores. As for the couple three children ages two, four, and six, they are now in DCF custody, while friends and relatives wondering who will get permanent custody of the couple's young boys. I get emotional when I think three kids who went through such a drama, they don't know where the mother, where the father, and they would be separated. They don't even have each other. This is unfortunately going to be something that they live with for the rest of their lives, despite the outcome of this investigation. On the topic of the couple's children, Cohasset police have put out an alert to be on the watch for people or groups raising money for the Walsh children, as there is no legitimate GoFundMe or fundraising campaign for the children at this point in the investigation. Again, this vigil starts at 4.30 on Cohasset Common. We'll have live coverage starting at 4 o'clock. Live in Cohasset, I'm Ted Wayman, WCVB, News Center 5.